So because the ACGME requires the residency programs to do research, the programs want to make sure that their applicants do research. <laughs> it's very simple. Um, it always was a big thing. Now, because step one is pass fail and there's less weight on maybe step one, more of the weight shifts to other things. And one of those other things are research. Um, a lot of programs, I know when I spoke to different program directors, they filter based on research. They might filter, you know, smaller community programs might filter based on one paper or two papers. Larger programs will filter maybe three or more projects. Um, you know, when I say projects, you don't have to necessarily get it into the best journal, but something that goes on your ERAS CV as a research project. And I'll talk about that for a minute. So, you know, essentially, you know, when ERAS opens up, you get to put in the, the name of your paper or your abstract, where you presented it or where you published it or the status. So if you submitted it, you put submitted. If it's accepted, you put accepted. If it's published, you put published. But at least something goes on your ERAS CV. And I would say, at least, I can't, you know, it's a really a red flag if you, if you come to your residency interview um, and you don't have one thing or maybe only one thing as your research. Let's say, what happened? That would be the first thing. Say, Why don't you have research? That's kind of how it's looked at now. There's no way around it. Um, so the, the importance is certainly there. And uh, we try to help with that.